I'm going to be testing budget golf balls today. I've got Callaway Super Soft, uh, Titleist Velocity, Tricks and Distance, and TaylorMade Distance Plus. I've got a seven iron. I'm just going to swing as hard as I can and see which one goes the furthest and look at those spin numbers. Healy, maybe five of each. Bad start, one nine six. What was the spin like? Five two spin, one two nine ball speed. Okay, don't mind that. Oh, turn that over a bit much. It's all right though. Two more. Ooh, 200 yarder. Turn it over, but I was trying to. One, three, three, ball speed that. Okay. So that was the distance tele made. Yeah, not bad. Stops a little bit as well. It's got a bit of spin, which is good. Right, Callaway. Uh, that isn't the Callaway. Callaway. So one, three, three ball speed and 200 is the tailor made. That's in the lead. Remember, I am trying to smash these, but that was rubbish. Huh. Hit it properly. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello. Okay, one, three, one. Whoa, 208. There we go. Let's even get to the two tens or something. Oh, that was munched. It's warm now. Wow. 210. One more. 134 ball speed. Okay, Callaway. It is a winning. That wasn't as good. Okay. So, Callaway Super Soft is in the lead. <sighs> With a one, three, four, and a two. 210 was it? Something like that. Anyway, tricks and distance. Let's give this a munch too. Oh, not like that. Did all right though. 180 carry for a heavy one. Turn it over. Okay, 200. One, three, two. They are hitting those ones quite as well, to be honest. Okay, and the uh, tightest velocity. Last one. And a mega hook scum of these. Oh, 
Come on. They're all in the 130s though, which is good. Yeah, they're not going to do it, I don't think. Oh, not bad. 32. Not much spin though. It's a bit heavy. Come on. No! One more. Strike it. It's not bad for a heavy one though, is it? Come on now. Really get through this one. That was a bit bottom groovy. Mm, come on. I feel like I've let these balls down here a little bit. Okay, that was all right. Okay, so. The winner by a mile was the Callaway Chrome Soft. Callaway Chrome Soft. Uh, Chrome Soft, what am I saying? Super Soft. That was a 134 ball speed. It had, and it went 210 yards. So if you're looking for a distance, and it spun all right, it was like 5,000. It's a bit low, but yeah. Not bad. Right then, guys, so after all of that whacking of seven irons, what can we draw from that? The Pro V1, in my previous video, I've done a test on premium golf balls. I hit the Pro V1 198 yards. That was the furthest I got with the Pro V1. The spin numbers were around uh, six, low 6,000s. It was around that. Check out the video if you want to have a look at that and some other premium golf balls. Then we've got all the other ones, the velocity, the shricks and distance, the tailor-made distance plus, and then the lovely, lovely, not bright at all coloured, Callaway Super Soft. I think they all went different distances, but the thing really to take away from this is that we all hit good ones and we all hit bad ones. Yes, if I really crush one when I see it don't, and actually look at the screen, I can hit this one 216 yards. The spin was a little bit lower on this one though than these ones. So, you know, these were 5,500, 5,200 between that kind of limit. And this one was struggling to stay in the 5,000s. So obviously spins a bit less, very soft. And it's a nice ball, but it's 25 quid. These are about 25 pounds. If you're lucky, I think I got these ones for about 18 pounds actually. So they are less than half the price. And on average, even the bad ones are still going longer than a Pro V1. The other ones, you know, this, this one, the, the, the TaylorMade Distance Plus, still over 200 yards. The Shrixen Distance, over 200 yards. The Velocity, one I hit the worst, but still over 200 yards. Yes, the spin on all of them is a bit lower. So if you're a better player and you really need those spin numbers, then maybe you want to look at a more premium ball that does spin a bit more. You still don't need to go for one of these though. Whichever one you choose, you've got a variety of costs. Like I say, £25 at the most, but normally under 20 quid. These Distance Plus from TaylorMade, I got these, I think, for with a bit of a discount code. I think I got them for about 13 50 for a box. Shrix and Distance, got them on a multi buy. I bought four boxes of these. And they worked out at £12 a box. I think it was, yeah, it was about £43 or something like that for four boxes. That is ridiculously cheap. The Velocities, they're probably the most expensive. They normally do hang around the £25 box for a dozen. But still, these two, which are the most expensive, they're still half the price of the Pro V1. Um, and if you want to go super budget, but still be longer than the Pro V1, then the Shrix and Distance. Is probably the way to go they are very cheap they're decent they spin okay um i guess they're probably the worst feeling out of all of them but
But this is my point. Unless you're a professional, unless you are very, very, very good amateur, you're probably going to lose a ball. If not every round, every other round, but you're going to lose something. And it depends. How much do you value that? Do you want to lose one of these, 50 pounds a dozen? It's a lot per ball. Or can you forego some of the spin? Can you forego a bit of the, the feel? And can you have one of these shricks and distance or one of these Callaway super softs? That's kind of the question you need to answer. But if you want to save pounds on your golf balls every year, and I'm talking about serious pounds, I'm talking about at least 25 pounds a box. And most people on average will buy maybe four boxes a year. So I'm talking about at least a hundred pounds, but probably hundreds of pounds if you are buying these balls. So is that what you want to do? Save hundreds of pounds and hit it up to with your seven iron, 18 yards longer. And I would recommend any of these, but I think my favorite is definitely the super soft. It, as the name suggests, it is nice and soft goes a long way uh, and it's got good feel around the greens. The spin is questionable, but you know, my level of golf and most other people's level of golf, you don't care too much about the spin. You just care about the cost and how far it goes. Anyway, um, if you like that, hit subscribe button. Be notified of any videos that are coming up. Give me a like. If you are somebody that likes saving hundreds of pounds a year on golf balls and hitting it further than a Pro V1. Thanks for watching.